Hello guys, as you can see, I am not here, but I have prepared this challenge board for you and your activities this week as we start Unit 3. Uh, exciting unit based on superheroes, so hopefully you'll find some interesting information. And again, this is our final unit of the summer. Uh, this is where you should be, again, engaging the I can uh, statements, I can. Uh, discover, find a theme and central idea. I can support it with textual evidence and explain how that textual evidence is supporting my understanding of that idea. We'll be focusing this week on the literature, starting with some background knowledge, practicing our annotation skills, uh, and then getting into the literature, uh, moving on and working again with our plot understanding and our character understandings and then um, getting into the theme a bit deeper this week in our final week together. All of this preparing for uh, our final challenge, which will be our last essay of the summer. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you how the challenge board works. It's going to be a gamified type of challenge board, where as you're completing each challenge, you will earn points. Uh, based on uh, your efforts and completion of tasks um, up to the standards. And then if you're not meeting those standards, making corrections and also getting points for that. So it's going to be a two-point system. If you complete um, a challenge and um, do it correctly uh, and proficiency at a proficiency, proficient level the first time, then you get two points. If you do need to go back based on the teacher's assessment and get make some corrections, you will still get one point for completing the challenge. And the way that I want to do it is have some um, daily um, winners and um, hopefully the uh, substitute will have some treats for you. And then um, uh, or the guest teacher, and then um, uh, an overall kind of weekly uh, who who meets our challenges, and um, and then we'll do a class comp class competition, sixth, seventh, and eighth, who has the highest percentage of points met. Um, so depending on the number of kids in class and the number of points earned, we'll break that down and see which class earned the most points collectively based on members in the class. Okay, so that's the basics of that, and each um, slide uh, that you complete will be, will tell you how many points you can earn. Um, but basically, you'll have this presentation and everything you need in your Google Classroom. And uh, so, when you start, um, here are the challenges. You don't necessarily have to do the challenges in order, but they will work best that way. But if you are getting stuck on something, you can definitely go to a different challenge uh, and work through that challenge um, to get those done, just uh, depending on how you are feeling that day and what's working for you. Uh, also, you should probably plan on doing three or four challenges a day. Uh, and um, if not, then uh, know the next day you kind of have to make up for that um, if you want to get through the board successfully and be ready for the next week. So when you click on a challenge, I'll just choose one randomly. This one is a reading activity challenge. You'll see that uh, it tells you what the activity is. It tells you and explain what you have to complete for that activity. Again, you'll find all of that in your classroom. And then before you uh, get your points you do have to show your teacher your work this one is if approved submit and then um, your your teacher will tally your points if you did it um, uh, completely successfully the first time you get two points if you need to go back and make corrections you will still get one point each time showing your teacher your work um, some of their some of them you can um, submit before okay so here is a quill challenge and you'll complete that and submit your work and show your teacher. And um, if it's submitted correctly, two points. Um, if corrections are needed, one point. So if you don't, maybe you don't do all of the learning targets um, and then you have to go back and finish one and then you'll only get the one point. So that's how the challenge board works. Uh, and so it should take you through everything you need to do throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And by the end, uh, hopefully you'll have earned all of your points and there are a few bonus challenges in there so you can get some extra points as well and possibly come out as a class winner. 
Um, other than that, um, the teacher covering my class will take care of everything else. Uh, they will be there to help you if you get stuck, answer any questions, uh, assess your work, make sure you are meeting the, the uh, standards successfully and assist you in any way. And also they'll be keeping track of the points. So again, make sure you are showing them so that they can write that down. Uh, and keep track of your points to give you little daily prizes for winners and or the weekly prize at the end. And then when I get back, we'll see which class had the most points. Good luck. Work hard. You know how to do this. You've got this and have a great week.